Hey guys, Halo here with another Star vs. Theory. Today we will be discussing who exactly Glosseric is and what he defines as. Throughout the entire series of Star vs. The Force of Evil, Glosseric has been a recurring and quite important character, making two cameos before he was properly introduced. A recurring theme in the show is the Mewman and Monster relationship and it is clear that the Mumin's prejudice towards the monsters is prominent throughout the history of the kingdom still to this present day. In the episode Starfari, Star goes to Moon and asks her why certain people who aren't Mumins are monsters, but certain people who aren't Mumins aren't monsters either. This was dismissed with comments like, he's on the Magical High Commission, or he's rich. However, Star doesn't bring up Glosseric, who certainly isn't a Mumin, but is he a monster? So according to Moon's responses, Glosseric wouldn't be classed as a monster since he's been serving the royal family for generations. However, putting this very factual theory behind, what do other sources say? Well, if we were to go off his behavior, he could in fact be a monster. He is known for being a jerk to Star and not always helping her in the most direct way. You could say that this is because he wants Star to figure out things on her own, which is true, but he also acts this way to the Magic High Commission. He also went to very lengthy actions when he allowed himself to be stolen by Ludo, refusing to come back, and when he pulled the whole Globgore trope. Another thing we would have to delve into would be how Glosseric was created and where he came from. Little is given away in the show about how he began serving the royal family and why he lives in the book. However, thanks to the Magic Book of Spells published in September 2018, we now know how Glosseric came to serve the family. The first queen of Muni was Urania. Her chapter explains how her village was under attack by monsters, which ended with a big fire. She fled from her home and looked up to the sky, begging for help. This is when a shooting star came down, carrying the family crystal within it. Upon touching the crystal, she received her butterfly emblemed cheeks. The chapter also explains that when she strikes her white kitten embroidery, Baby came to life. However, it does not mention the creation of Glosseric. It says that Glosseric was watching her use the wand for the first time from a distance, and met her when she woke up the next morning. However, on her deathbed, Urania appointed Glosseric as Sir Glosseric of Terms, honorary knight of the Queen Butterfly of Muni. So we can see he is tied to the family via this title. However, I like to point out that he is the knight of the queen, not the knight of the book holder. So was he going against his duties when he refused to come back to Star? In conclusion, I believe that Glosseric wouldn't be classified as a monster. He isn't a species that has evolved, but a being that was created by the shooting star that brought the wand. Yeah, he may be a jerk sometimes, but in the end, this is Glosseric. He knows what he's doing. So, what do you think? Is Glosseric a monster? I'd love to hear your thoughts and theories down in the comment section below. The script for this was written by Harry, and this was voiced by Halo, myself. Please drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more videos like this in the future. Bye! Thank you.